Alright, hey, what's up all my Dragon Bands? I am Beast, I'm Dragon Bands, Baby Dragon. And before we start this video on Dirty Dirty Literature Club, I would like to call attention to something. Please comment right here. From Emma Fleming, Sapphire Bride, and Rebel Ass. Now, I wouldn't usually call attention to hateful comments, but when you threaten my channel, that's when I'm going to start calling attention to it. Now, this video, what Kale was remarking to, is the game I'm about to play, which is Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh well, I know this guy is a creep. Just reported this channel, what a creep. He was a creep in that gameplay, like, dude, get a room in jail. Okay, now... I didn't mention this, but I was half awake when I actually did write these. But let me call attention to it right now. Today is Tuesday. It's about 2.30 in the morning. I am very tired. And when I woke up to these comments... What the fuck? For one... If Doki Doki Literature Club made me a creep, then half the fucking internet would be a creep. Okay? And for you commenting on it, calling me a creep, what does that make you because you sat there and watched it? To literally call me a creep. Or if you didn't watch it, then you really don't know what I was doing. I was sitting there commenting and reading the dialogue. So that would make me a creep. Let that be known that, let's see. Many Lad have, has done it. Jacksepticeye has played the game. Markiplier has played the game. PewDiePie has played the game. The Game Theory has played the game. So basically, a lot of the top tier channels on YouTube have played this game. And you're just calling me a creep. I'm a little bit offended here. But I wouldn't care. If it wasn't for the second one from Sapphire here. Just reported this channel. What a creep. How are you going to report me for something that I did not do nothing wrong? It's a better question. Don't report a channel because somebody is playing a game that you don't like. If you don't like the game, don't click on the game. Because apparently you know what the game is. Half the internet is playing it right now. So am I. If that makes me a creep and everyone else is not a creep, then what the fuck? Don't call me out of my name. Please do not report my channel for a game that I play. Okay? So, Kale. Kale. Stop with the qu Stop with these. Please. Because you're not doing my channel a favor and you're giving my channel a bad rap. Please stop that. I ask of you. Because these comments... I do not want these comments in my comment section. I laughed at this, because Kale was actually playing around in this. Everyone else got fucking offended. <clears throat> and then, most likely my channel got taken. So if my channel is taken, I'll make sure to put you on blast before I go. <laughs> I'm playing the game right freaking now, so if you don't like it, click off the video. You don't need to watch it. It's a clickable or not clickable video. If you don't want to watch it, don't fucking watch it. Or you can go tell everyone else that's playing the game that they are a creep to. You do not need to be on this channel if you do not like the games I play. This is the gamer's paradise for everyone. So if you're going to report me, report me for a better reason than that. Okay? Okay. Now I'm, I'm going to stop calling attention to this bullshit. And I'm gonna get to my gaming. Okay? Let me do my actual intro. Let me go back. Alright. There we go. What's up all my dragonlings? I am the Dragon God of Gaming, Damien Dragon. And welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Sorry for the uh, start of this video. But that needs to be called attention to. And it needs to be called attention to real freaking quick. Because I am not gonna have my channel taken away. Because somebody wanted to get offended at a game that is played by every channel on YouTube at the moment. Don't get offended at it. Don't. Okay? It's a game. Relax. Everything I say is a joke. 
if you can't take a joke, get the hell off of YouTube. Because half the half of YouTube is a joke. Everything that's said is most likely a joke. So stop it. So let's get into the game. And I'm gonna stop that nonsense. I'm gonna play like I'm normally playing. If that's what makes me a creep, so the fuck what? I don't care what you call me. So let's get in. Oh game. Okay. Oh god. That's showing up. Yes it is. What the fuck? Hey, you can use the skip button. Jesus. Okay, I can't go full mode on this, so I just have to play it in the layer window. Okay. With that, the two of us can find the club the club room and make our way home. Okay, so this is right after we did the club meeting. Again, I'm trying to get to the scary part. The whole way my mind wanders back and forth between the four of the four girls. Sayori, Atsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Again. Your boy. I don't know what you expect. But I really well, will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Well, <laughs> or else I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure Good Fortune will find me. Probably not. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Please don't tell me I have to write a poem, because I'm horrible. Oh god. Really? It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will write. Shh. Okay, hold on. This is fucking strange. Yeah, before this game, like, crashes, let me just save it here. Over on my file. Give me one moment, give me one moment. Yep, just give me a moment. Cause this game is literally like dying to death. I have to reload the game, for fuck's sake. Okay. This game is not suitable for children. Yeah, and it literally tells you, this game is not suitable for children. Okay. Okay. Now, we're back in it, right? Everything is set? Yep, okay. Let me see. What words will I reuse? Ah. Uh, I don't write poems in real life. I actually used to write short stories. But, nothing like this. I was asked to write a poem before, but again, I failed that. <laughs> Extraordinary. Imagination. Game. Okay, so it can tailor to every girl. Oh my god, 5 of 20. Fuck's sake. Special. Ooh, chocolate. Um, secretive. Graveyard, headphones, mouse, suicide, hurt, aura, massacre. I'm trying to feel like aura. Anime. I just love anime. I'm just picking random ones at the moment. Like, I don't know what to pick. I'm probably not to be like, misery, incapable. Anyway. Andy. Andy. Okay, Andy. Okay, so anytime they jump, it's something tailored to that girl. So. Rip it. Oh. Really? 
power. Yeah. Really? Hybrid. Heaven fed. Treasure? I don't know what the fuck I did. Okay. Hi again, Damien. Hello, Monica. Glad to see you didn't run away from us. Ha ha ha. I don't know why I would run away. Nah, don't worry. It might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Damien. Hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. I don't see why it would. Like, I really don't see, like, the whole problem with like joining a club. I would love to join a club. Like you dive head first into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Well anyone can come become accustomed to reading. <laughs> to be honest. All you have to do is sit there and read words. Oh come on, like he deserves any slack. You are a bitch. Terry told me you didn't even want to join any club this year. And last year too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take it seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Damn! Atsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Uh... <laughs> Damn, they're putting each other on blast. I think you find yourself stuck between saying Monaco or Manga. Manga is literature! Sure. Simply to see not to get plus back into our seat. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Damien will always give his best as long as he's having fun. Yeah! It helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking and cleaning my room. That's commendable. Sorry, that's because your room is so is so messy. It's just that, and you almost set your house on fire. <laughs> how bad does your how bad does your time need to be when you almost set your house on fire? Uh, I believe I have one subscriber. I think Miss Chocolate who almost had her um, had, um, well, her brother almost set her house on fire. I believe I was told that story. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> oh, that's so crazy. You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Damien have been become good friends, too. Um... That's how you know a woman is, like, very into you. When she doesn't know what the fuck to say after. You, you guys put you know, so and so. And the hair twirl. <laughs> Hey, Ori. <laughs> no idea what the fuck to say. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me in. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Wait. <laughs> oh God. Uh. <laughs> um. Not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. <laughs> What is it? Never mind. So, so embarrassed. But it made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess that needs stuff to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So, any nice gesture from you is a perfect surprise. That'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Don't tell me it's something really creepy. <laughs> please! Please! Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Oh, here. You, Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked, up, I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should give you your attention. 
At attention. At attention. At attention. Okay. Even if you don't use your reach. I mean, you could, you know, respect it if you want it. This is, this is, how is this girl accidentally being so cute? Ah! This is why I don't play these games! She even picked out a book she thinks I like. If I mean not reading much. Great, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. <laughs> but you can read it on your at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. I know everyone settled in. I expected Monica to pick up some schedule. Schedule activities for the class. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sally and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Very space is already buried in the book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for the stand. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. What could be in a closet? Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I thumb down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess they'll always read some of the books you're reading. I'm feeling a little tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Kiyori's conversation with Monica. We are probably gonna seem really lame compared to all the other clubs though. Huh? Well, I can't get- well, we can't give up. A festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. I guess? But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative mind. Hmm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. Uh, what do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, we will come in the place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their their mind. What's this? Jerry is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. Usually when you have a club like, like something like this, you gotta be very, you know, into the club. When I was in the house club, I really de deliberated on going on a diet. That didn't happen! <laughs> huh, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? A way to a person's heart is through his stomach. Food! What kind? Oh, well, I guess we could... Uh... Okay! I've been thinking. I think you would love to do that. Ah, you're right. You know, you could bake a good amount of cakes. You know that, right? That's like you make the best cookies. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it. That's a six months or something. Bad, but true. <laughs> uh, cupcakes. Cupcakes it is, man. I'm hungry. Anyways, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. <coughs> I find myself smiling. In the end, Sorry is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sorry can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. A what? <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I open my eyes to find Sarah's face filling my vision. I nearly fall on my chair. <laughs> sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Because I'll still have a napping club. <laughs> I'm staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're gonna have less time for anime now. So you need to get used to it. Um... I can, I can basically find a lot of time for anime. Like, you can literally do it at any time. Do manga, TV, you know, computer, you literally have all the cases in the world to do it. Don't say that so loud. I guess on my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true though. Yeah. 
Yeah, I know, I know. Always looking out for me, Sarah. Hee <laughs> uh, It's weird when a girl does that. Like the small little. <laughs> it's, it's weird. It's why I do that. That's a problem. <laughs> what about you? You look out for me, my, me better than you look out for yourself. You're still over sleeping every day, aren't you? <laughs> when you get caught, you get caught. Not every day. That's not very convincing. <laughs> How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's a secret. <laughs> I know it. Come on! At least give me the benefit of the doubt. You can't be given the benefit of doubt when you literally sleep all the time and you're telling everyone else to be on time. That's not how that stuff works! I can't even do that. Look, say, Ari, it's written all over you. Oh, God. Huh? Sorry, glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. <laughs> uh, I ran my I ran my fingertips down the side of Sarah's hair trying to straighten it out. Oh god. And you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. <laughs> there's more than it's, there's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And then the Toothpaste stain on your collar right here. Wipe off the stain with my finger. But nobody would even ever notice that. Of course they would. Everyone notices everything out of school. <laughs> it's, a, it's a natural fact. A lot of people think, like see everything. Everything, everywhere, at every time. Like literally, I had like a small little stain on my shirt I didn't see in the morning when I left for school at one point. And everybody wanted to critique. Until I figured out that, that it was a water stain from, like, 20 minutes before everyone started commenting. <laughs> and it was on my shirt, not my pants. Let me, make, let me make that clear. Somebody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Unfortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, you mean? And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Theory? <laughs> Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? That's super mean. Sorry, but you'll you'll thank me later. I start to button up her uh, start buttoning her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Jesus. What am I even doing with my time? <laughs> this is so funny. If it, it's somebody that like buttoning up someone's shirt, really it's not that bad. This is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking of how weird it is to have a friend who does do things. Friends do things for friends. This is not awkward. If she's not de like de dressing, then I don't think it's bad. Don't you say it? Don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay though. I'm happy we're like this. Are you? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Hey, be careful. I thought it might come off. Why is this one so hard, so hard to close? I'm sure I'm gonna fully button uh, the near top of her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> oh god. It did when I bought it. How long ago was that? Sorry, huh? If you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed too sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my bo- And my boobs got bigger again. What am I doing with my time? Don't say that out loud. Thank you! <laughs> anyway... You look much better now, so... Uh, why does it feel strange to see Sierra's place already buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. Uh, it's not worth it at all. So I guess we unbutton to the blazer once more. Phew. That's so much better. It's so much creepy. That's so much better. Here puts her arms out and twirls around. 
So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because I had a boyfriend that that he wouldn't even make me do things like this. I'm feeling really creeped out. Please tell me this girl is like 18 or older, please. Thank you. Who take care of me better than anyone else would anyway? So so that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Thank you! It's embarrassing. And uh, I didn't say anything embarrassing. Well, any, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. The deal. Since we are really... We, we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up uh, wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Oh, but I was joking that time. <laughs> and it's impossible to tell what to do sometimes. Okay everyone. Hey. Okay. I have something to tell Why don't we share the the polls we wrote now? Yay! Amy, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. <laughs> I feel the sound enthusiastic, but Sally still charged away to achieve her poem. I get I gave the better sentiment with that. Uh, yeah, my dude. <laughs> so enthusiastic. By the way, did you remember to write your phone last night? Yeah. <laughs> How about section end? I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I can't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Hey, Monica, enthusiastic to pull out their phone. Sorry, it's Theories is on a Lego sheet of loose leaf torn from his spiral notebook. That's what I used to write everything on in my um in school. I used to pull, like rip out like pages of a notebook, or I used to have like this huge package of paper that I would use every single year, and I would rip it out of there, like 700 to 800 pages of like everything. I always just keep them all around, and I just like pour it out. Sometimes it'll be wrinkled, sometimes it won't be. Yeah. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from the heat drive stick. That's how you know someone's in A class student when you can literally tell how good they wrote from where you're sitting. <laughs> That's looking Yuri really can comply as well, reaching into their air bag, into their bag. I thought I said airbags. I was about to say, really? What is that? I had to do the same myself. Oh god, this is good. Who should I show my poem to first? Well, it would make much sense to you share with your best friend. I'm definitely most comfortable sharing it with Sally first. She is my good friend after all. Oh my goodness. This is so good, Damien. Oh dear God. Uh, I love it. I had no idea you were such a good writer. Hey, Alright. Must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I also have no idea what I'm doing. Exactly. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. Ha! <laughs> Jeez. I'm sure yours opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Maybe even that too, please. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Uh, well, I'm not sure that's part of it. I think... Okay, what the heck? I think I understand you better than a, a, a lot of the other people, you know? Come on. Uh, I have like something on my finger and I hate when I have something there. Oh, it's annoying. <laughs> so when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a Damien poem. That is the worst sounding poem idea you could possibly come up with. 
And that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. So it hugs the shit against her chest. It's so weird to her. <laughs> I'm unhappy that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. <laughs> uh, well, of course. It's not really into it. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll, I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Damien. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying, trying new things like this for other people. That's something that, on, that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. And again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah, I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? No. <laughs> That's what, that will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Okay. Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry. I'm really bad at this. Uh, I bet it's weird. It's like seeing shit, and it's not there. Well, we'll see about that. Okay, we'll read it. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Since my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Really making you, like, rub the sleepy from your eyes? Seriously? They asked me to come out and play. Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? Oh, I said toasting or trusting. I had to look at it. I had to look at it real close. Look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. That's how I wake up in the morning. I'm not even mad I woke up. Where's my breakfast? <laughs> Sayori. This is just a guess, but you wait until the, this morning to write this? No. A little bit. I can answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. <laughs> well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. What do you mean? I still try my best. Oh, it's pretty good. Oh, yeah, I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice. Or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially the last line. I mean, eggs and toast. I'd like a good breakfast meal. Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. I get cranky. I get all cranky. I guess there's no fun in that game. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica is the best. Uh, yeah. The next time I won't forget. I'm going to write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Oh, dear God. I guess the next one should be Yori? She is so nervous. Hold on. There's something on the screen. Hmm. Yori stares at the poem. A minute passes in more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh. So sorry. I forgot to start speaking. <laughs> she is like the quiet, like, reserved one. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time running a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I didn't make it sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Oh, so it's that bad? No! Did I, did I just raise my voice? Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yuri buries her face in her hands. I can help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. That's what it feels like sometimes. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I, really don't, I didn't notice. What are you saying? 
Right. Um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the, both the styles and the expe expressiveness are weakened. I thought I said expensiveness. I'm not saying, what the hell? Once you're refined to train a thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that get got that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but I'll, it'll come. It, it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you a valuable feedback. I'm pretty sure I know one that's not. <laughs> That's why you can be a little, um, be a bit biased. That's exactly what I was about to say. <laughs> biased, how? Oh. Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about other people like that. Sorry. That's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to us stuff, to me, or to Natsuki. <laughs> do you mind if I read your phone now? Please do. I'd love to share my thoughts process behind someone else. There are smiles. Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for us. Which itself, it's kind of funny. After all, it's, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Okay. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have would stand the test of time. So, I hate reading, like, handwriting like this. It, like, I can't read sometimes like that. The last yet, the last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicking back. Kind of nice. I don't know what to look out for in poems. Uh, I'm sorry I had such a terrible handwriting. What? It's not terrible. It's that I can't read it very good. I wasn't thinking of that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Uh, well, I just don't read script. Don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Hmm? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was very descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. What do you usually write? Are you into ghost here? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't behind about a ghost at all, Damien. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. Remember the poets often respect their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. Are you witness ghosts? Or like shit of the past? What the fuck? They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being Symbolical said to a ghost. I don't know how to feel about that. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of that, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I didn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy that you think like and pick that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on those things too. These things too. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, maybe you're right. It's 3 a.m. in the morning. I'm sorry if I miss, like, read things. <laughs> I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. 
Okay. Let's get this over with when Natsuki. Eh. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's not what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't invoke any emotions. So basically, it's not good enough for your taste. Do you want to get smacked? Damn! She put it in a way! How bad? <laughs> hmm. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Okay. Let's, okay, this one's easy to read. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can see. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. What was the derivative of that story? <laughs> like, I, I, I did good at English, but I'm not that good at, with uh, finding, like, things in the story. I'm pretty sure that, that had no narrative. Oh, I clicked out the game itself. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. I told you that you weren't going to like it. I liked it. What? <laughs> Let's be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even try and even take my writing seriously. Okay, I, I can see her point there. But this isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves. Your writing style wouldn't make your domestic any less valid. True. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. See everyone around you do great things can really be disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. The other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the work life. Like I set up for a rhyme, a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. Don't bring out the flame in the last line. I guess. And I know how long I've been recording for. Believe me, I can see the time. Um, don't worry, we'll, we'll end this off soon. I'm pretty sure everyone's, like, bored out their fucking mind by now. So, you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. I didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, guess not. I said to humor her with the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is. If Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Yeah, don't like trample everyone's like everyone's like accomplishments because like you have a biased comment. And I guess last guess the last one is Monica. Hi Damien. Having a good time so far? Uh yeah. Good, glad to hear. By the way, you you're new and everything. Do you have any suggestions for the club? Like new activities or things we can do better? I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Best way to do things. Anyway, want to share your phone with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Oh god. Don't worry, Damien. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past through. Yeah, that's true. I hear Monica in my poem. Hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something Terry would like. Is that so? Yeah, hey, you, you and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sort of things in common. Ah, oh, well... We may be good friends, but Sarah and I are actually really good friends. Hmm. Well, that's, that may be the case. But remember, but maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you. It sounds like you two are really care... You two are... It sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Why am I having so hard of a time reading? It's just reading! 
even you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into it too much? Haha, <laughs> I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. Oh. <laughs> Damn, why do you gotta roast the girl? <laughs> but in any case, Yuri's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can't tell that she likes exploring with emotion, like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's probably unexpected. Well, to each it. Who is she own? And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could be, it could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I love to see you try new things. The that's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else, everyone else might be a little bit biased for their own kind of style. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. You know, that's a lie. <laughs> uh huh. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. It's not pretty confident for someone who claims to be not to not be very good. Well, that's the case. I have to sound confident. <laughs> Doesn't mean I always feel this the way that way, you know. I see. Oh, let's read it then. Okay. Jesus, this has a fucking scroll bar! Oh, dear God. Okay. Let's get into the reading. Hole in wall! It couldn't have been me. See the direction the sparkle protrudes. A noisy neighbor. An angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No. I can't. No, I can't see. I I reel blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My re re my retinas. Oh, my retinas. Already scorched with a prominent copy of the meaningless image. It it was too deep, stretching forever into everything. A whole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. Okay, I don't know whether to perceive this as dark or not. Jesus. Oh, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform. If that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. It's okay. Yeah, that's, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. And performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the impression behind this one? Uh, <laughs> well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of effect. It's been influencing my poem a bit. Oh god. I have a feeling very soon that this game is going to take a really dark turn. An epiphany. They always talk about epiphany, darkness, fucking hole gaping and shit like that. What the fuck? And don't take that as crass. Hole gaping means she said hole in the wall. I'm speaking about that kind of hole. Hole of darkness. Fuck's sake. Guys, get your heads on your ass. Please, thank you. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, as Monica's writing tip of the day, sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, the brain gets too fixated on a specific point. But you try so hard to make it perfect that you'll never make any progress. Just, for, just force yourself to get into something and get something down on the paper and try to do that for later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark pillow of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Okay. <laughs> We're almost done, guys. I know how long it's been. I guess that's it. I guess it's everyone. I guess around the room. I was a little more stressful than I just did it. You think? It's like if everyone is judging me for my mediocre run. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, uh, that's too bad. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my phone can scan up to there. It's an electric club after all. I'm sorry. I guess that's why I ended up ended up getting it myself into. I got to remember really monitor a happy chatting. My eyes land on you and that's good for you. They generally exchange sheets of paper showing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each other watch each of their expressions change. I took his eyebrows for in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. How do you smile sadly? What with this language? Uh, um, did you say something? Oh, that's not fair. I'll see you dismissively returning the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, hey! <laughs> Yours is cute. Cute! Do you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. That could not be cute. Ah, I know that. I just meant language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Damn! Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. You know, you're gonna give someone the benefit of the doubt, you know? Um... Well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. Well, thinking for suggestions, I would've asked someone who actually liked it. Most people did, by the way. Sherry liked it. And Damien did too. But based on that, I'd gl I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, Excuse me. I appreciate that the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my lifestyle. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something such a blazing fighter. Which I haven't yet. Mm. <laughs> and they didn't like my poem too, you know. He didn't tell me he was impressed by it. Thank you so he stands up. Oh! I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Oh, she's gonna embarrass the shit out of her. That's not what I. Uh, you're just very stands up as well. Isn't you're just jealous that David appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours? This is being roasted. Uh, how dare you? He didn't appreciate my advice more. Are you that fooling yourself? Uh, no. If I was for myself. I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cheesy. Uh, um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one who grew, magically grew a size bigger as Damon started showing up. Damn! Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... It doesn't involve you! I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they didn't know it, as they just noticed I was standing there. Damien? She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get, if she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point? Is what the what's the point in making your poem all convoluted for no reason? The minute you should jump out, uh, out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain to it, that's for a game, man. Wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and, and expressive words in our language. That's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning. I mean, the most effective way. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Damien? Um. Well. Uh, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? <laughs> By standing there! You don't stand there, two people fighting! I've learned this! Wait me, I was dragged into conversations like this. It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. <laughs> so of course, that's going to be... Yuri. Atsuki, you're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait, that's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my phone seriously. Mm, I understand. Yuri. Eh? 
you're still to tell you're still to tell me later. It's no it's no secret that I was impressed. Well that's but here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it. And it becomes something very personal. That's why Nefisi feels better when you say her home was cute. I see. You see, this is a way to diffuse the situation. I didn't notice that I I'm sorry. Natsuki, you took it way too far. You know what it means well, and, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't, wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. It was her that... Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you didn't mean. Do you apologize? Do you think you should too? Mm. Natsuki clutches her fist. In the end, nobody has taken, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped at this point, being definite, defiant only because she can't handle the question. I end up even feeling bad for her. Um, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Sorry she doesn't need to. You know what? I'm going to do that. It will spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. One morning, I took these her phone, her own phone up, and the dancing just comes out. On way out, she comes up the phone with her hands and soaking them back. That's her feet. She really didn't do that. The cuffs around. Yuri had her, had her chin buried in her hands, but while she stares down on her desk. I just look forward to her and sit in an adjacent chair. Aww, this is actually really bad. I'm about to go over an hour here. This is like a long thing. Everything is alright. I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I got to that. You're probably hit, you're probably hit me now. No, you're right. How could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any I don't think any of us could. Well, alright, I believe you. Same thing, you're too kind. I'm thankful to have you part of this club now. Uh that's not fine. One more thing. Um that one thing that Natsuki said. About, you know, I would never do anything so shameful. So, uh, what thing did Natsuki say? Um, well, never mind that. <laughs> I'm going to make some tea. I think it's about her food. <laughs> A good idea. Make enough for more than one person. Okay? Yeah. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did y'all feel about sharing a poem? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright, well, mostly. And how about you? Yeah, I, I, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out, will turn out even better. Uh, I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job in pressing those I want to impress. I need to, uh, I need, I nudge myself with newfound determination. Amy, hey, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Okay. Here I be me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. It's weird. Okay. I'm gonna leave it right here. Okay, I'm gonna leave this right here. This game was actually really fun to play. Um, and again, I'm sorry about the beginning of the video. Um, again, I had to call attention to it. Because if me playing this game makes me a creep, then... I don't know what to tell you. And I wouldn't have called attention to it. That someone didn't deliberately like run down my channel and basically tell tell everyone that they reported my channel. So I wouldn't have called attention to it if it wasn't for that. I would have genuinely walked away from it and like it never happened. I wouldn't have called attention to anyone. I would have finally blocked it. I wouldn't. I would finally just delete the comment because this comment section, the comment section down below, is for people that you know. It's for positive thinking. It's for people that enjoy the game or artistic criticism or something like that. 
I am not going to sit here and be, you know, told, talked down to, and most of all, basically running down my channel. Don't do that. I want to call attention to it. Alright, but enough of that. I'm not going to stress over it, because I'm actually, in a, I'm actually in a good mood, and I don't need that bullshit. I'm not going to let it get to me. So, my channel is not going anywhere. So I'm sorry, if you hate that or not. My channel is not going anywhere, and it's going to be stay here, right here, but I'm doing as much as I want, what I want, when I want to do it. So, if you guys, if you don't like it, then you can literally just click off the video. I don't have no squirrels. But, I'm over an hour right now, so let me cut this right here. I, I do this more than I do my regular videos. For fuck's sake. <laughs> but, this game was really fun. It's getting it there. It, it's starting to show some little dark bits. So, uh, I think I'm getting really close to, like, the um, dark parts. So, I hope in the next video I can get to that. But, anyway, let me leave it off with this. Thank you everyone so much for watching the video, and if you guys like it, please smack the like button, the token box, and share and subscribe to the great dragon, so you too may become a mortal. But for gaming and teeth wins, for the game of the I'll see you dragon ladies in the very next episode. Peace my friends, good gaming, happy hunting, and I'll see you dragon ladies back inside the literature club. Peace my friends.